Hi, I'm Dr. Jung Jang, and I'm working for Asa Medical Center, which is located in Seoul, Korea. First of all, I would like to say that it is my great honor to have this opportunity to introduce my study through this video abstract. My study of endoscopy ultrasound guided transmural and percutaneous transepty gallbladder during AZ are comparable for acute cholecystitis is scheduled to be published in gastroenterology which is an AJ Institute journal. For the acute cholecystitis patient, general treatment is that the patient has initial medical treatment first and subsequently has an elective cholecystectomy. But if the patient doesn't have any response to initial medical treatment, we have no perform an emergent cholecystectomy. But if the general condition of the patient is not good because of advanced cholecystitis, or if the patient is a high surgical risk patient, emergent cholecystectomy is difficult to apply and therefore we perform percutaneous transepty gallbladder drainage first. I will refer to percutaneous transepty gallbladder drainage as PTZVD from now for on for convenience. Even though PTZVD is generally used for the compression of implant gallbladder, it is technically difficult to apply PTZVD to the patient who have a large amount of ascites because of liver cirrhosis, to the patient who have bleeding risk because of blood coagulation disease, or to the patient who take medicine of antiplatry or the anticoagulation. In addition, pains resulting from external drainage catheter itself and disrostment of external drainage catheter resulting in repeated procedure have been another obstacle. Thanks to the recent development of linear ray endoscopic ultrasound, US guided transmural gallbladder drainage is being performed in some centers and its cases are reported. But there is no prospective comparison study for its safety and effectiveness until now. So we came to make a plan of non-inferiority study in order to verify U.S. guided transmural gallbladder drainage is not inferior to PTZVD. Among 352 patients who have acute cholecystitis for seven months, we have ignored 59 patients who need emergent cholecystectomy because of no response to initial medical treatment, but cannot have emergent surgery because of their high surgical risk. Let me explain U.S. guided transmural gallbladder drainage technique by simple video. First, we make puncture on the distended gallbladder with a 19 gauge needle, and we make coiling the guide wire into the gallbladder and insert five French nasocystic drainage tube. Technical success rate of two groups were or 97 and p-value was 0.001 regarding 50 percent of non-imperiality margin, which means U.S. guided group were not technically inferior to percutaneous group. And in clinical success rate, U.S. guided group showed 100 percent and percutaneous group showed 96 percent and p-value was 0.0001, which means there was no significant difference in 15 percent of non-imperiality margin. We had two cases of pneumoperitoneum in U.S. guided group, which means 7% of complication rate, and had one case of bleeding in percutaneous group, which showed 3% of complication rate, respectively. But we didn't have a statistically significant difference in two groups. Regarding conversion rate to open cholecystectomy in U.S. guided group and percutaneous group were 9% and 12%, respectively and there were no statistically significant difference as well. When we compare the differences in pain score, which were based on visual analog scale and 24 hours after the procedure, median post-procedure pain was one point in U.S. guided group and five point in percutaneous group, which means percutaneous group had a statistically significant higher point. Through this study, from the viewpoint of technical and clinical success rate, we verified that U.S. guided gallbladder drainage is comparable with the PTZVD, and there were no significant difference in complication and conversion rate to open cholecystectomy. Therefore, we think U.S. guided transmural gallbladder drainage could be used as a safe and efficient alternative of PTZVD for the patient who have acute cholecystitis. In addition, this study doesn't argue that U.S. guided transmural gallbladder drainage is superior to PTZVD, but instead we hope U.S. guided transmural gallbladder drainage 
could be another available treatment method for treatment of uh, acute cholecystitis through the verification of its safety and effectiveness to some selected patients. Thank you.